everybody. It's Chris Schubert, VP of Business Development at CNSG, and welcome back to the next edition of Next Diva In on Thought Leadership in the channel today. Obviously, as you can tell, our guest today is from Next Diva. That's why I'm not saying that other name. <laughs> and I'm uh, happy to have Catherine Valadares, one of the head innovators over at Next Diva. Hey, Catherine, how you doing? Good. How are you? Doing fantastic. Uh, far better than I deserve. Um, so as we always like to start in uh, in our video cast here today is we'd like to hear a little bit about you and your background. You're unique at Next Steven that you've really done it all. You've uh, been an engineering whiz. You've had some of the sales teams and uh, probably taking care of uh, coffee and maintenance as well over at Next Steven. So tell us a little bit about yourself and what fires you up about working at a company that is known for its amazing culture. Great question. I actually have 20 plus years in the IP space. And telecom has only been in the latter half. Uh, but the reality is, as I understand the stack, typically all seven layers of it, um, which is why I've kind of played every role at Nextiva. Started out as an inside salesperson, moved on to sales engineering, ran engineering, ran sales in the channel. Um, and at this point, I'm just the jack of all trades and otherwise known as Miss Amazing. So what brought me to Nextiva and uh, actually gets me going every morning and is the reason why I'm here is the fact that we are a giant family behind the scenes. We support our teammates 100%. We work in conjunction with, with each other and we're kind of a well-oiled machine at this point. Being one of the leaders allows me to kind of mold where we go as a company in the future. And that's really exciting for me, especially in the times that we're in and all the innovation that's happening here at Nextiva. Well, innovation is is always been a big part of Nextiva, as has that culture. And uh, every time I deal with anyone at Nextiva, whether it's yourself or Kathy Flick, Carl Katz, or good buddy Ira, there's always a passion behind everything you guys do. And I, I think uh, that's one of the things that makes you stand out amongst the competition. Speaking of competition, for those that have never heard of Nextiva, which if you haven't, I'm shocked. But uh, Nextiva obviously operates as one of our uh, largest UCAS providers in the CNSG marketplace. Um, UCAS is a bit of a crowded marketplace, as many folks have heard me talked about before. Uh, there's about 3,500 different UCAS providers in the U.S. alone uh, of all different shapes and sizes. So, Catherine, my, my big question to you is, what makes Nextiva different beyond that culture? That's a really good question. I always get asked the question, what's your sweet spot? And I think it's hard for a lot of us to answer. But the reality is Nextiva has some staples, in my opinion, of where we differentiate. I'll talk a little bit about each one. Uh, awesome. The one that I sell the most is automation. We're kind of in the time of an automation generation where individuals are now used to talking to people like Siri and Alexa and Google. And so moving into an automated phone system is more prevalent than ever. And Nextiva has an excellent solution for that. Within that solution, we have virtual agents that can pretty much take care of any task. And we sell a lot of it because of the current times that we're in, as well as kind of the generation that's currently using business phone systems today. In addition to that, and kind of important for the automation piece is integration. So while most UCAS vendors kind of tout that they have integrations with kind of your top shelf products like your Salesforce and your Zendesk and your Zoho. Nextiva really goes way outside of the box when it comes to integration. We have the ability to integrate with any platform that exists anywhere. Matter of fact, we have 250 developers that are Nextiva badged employees dedicated to this effort. So our professional service team has created some really cool integrations that I wouldn't necessarily call standard or out of the box. Uh, along with that comes installation. I know a lot of people tout they have white glove installation and white glove onboarding, uh, but for next Diva, installation actually comes in various flavors. You have the option of choosing how you want your installation to occur, and we actually deploy Nextiva badge technicians into the field to do installations, which is a little bit unique to, to most of our competitors in the space. Lastly, I would say that Nextiva is an innovative company. Um, we're making changes every day to the NextOS platform, which is our operating system that's going to change and revolutionize how people look at communication and the fact that in this innovation platform, all communication is in a single pane of glass. It gives you perspective on every touch that you have with your customer base. 
And it allows for a native platform to do so, unlike our competitors who are typically integrating with other platforms or purchasing other platforms to kind of provide that service. So in my opinion, those will be the four staples that make us really different. Great answers and, and one ones that CNSG can absolutely stand behind. Uh, I want to key in on a couple of those for you. Is you know, you mentioned automation and you talked about uh, you know, younger companies embracing that. Uh, you know, we're starting to see more and more companies move to not even having desk phones any longer. Everything is being done via the collaboration tools and the soft phones. Uh, why do you feel Nextiva is particularly a good fit for those companies looking for that, forgive the pun, next generation solution? Well, I would say that we have all the collaboration tools that you would expect from all the UCAS vendors at this point in time, but the automation piece takes it to a secondary level. Anytime you're moving a workforce to work from home, it ten tends to be a daunting task. And in all reality, it takes time. So by using automation, you can kind of bypass the need to actually have humans um, and utilize your humans more as backup than primary or, or, or the first point of contact, if you will. Additionally to that, we found in our studies that automation is 100% accurate 100% of the time. And as you and I both know, humans typically aren't 100% accurate 100% of the time. No. Um, we actually did a, a, a recent case study of an injury attorney in New York. Uh, and they were hiring more and more staff to basically screen all of their inbound calls to justify whether the calls they were receiving were legit. I mean, honestly, they were getting blown up with spam calls because injury attorneys tend to have really nice vanity numbers, if you know what I mean. Um, but they got to the point where they had basically sourced the humans to capacity. And so we kind of saved their organization and changed the dynamic by creating as I mentioned, conversational AI in their IVR to allow them to screen those callers in an automated fashion. And that allowed them to downsize the staff that they had, as well as use that staff for the resources that were necessary versus using them for just a screening of a caller. Uh, we actually also were able to integrate with their on-prem SQL-based database to make this happen, which again is one of the staples that I mentioned that Nextiva is a little bit different at doing than others. And lastly, because Nextiva and NextOS will be launching a CRM, we've been able to start offloading some of that information from the SQL database into NextOS. And at the end of the day, this customer will be 100% engrossed in the Nextiva solution, which for all you sellers makes them real sticky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> nice, uh, nice way to land that answer there. Uh, <laughs> you know, let's... You mentioned artificial intelligence, and you also mentioned car, uh, as, as part of that conversational AI. Uh, mm -hmm. These are terms that a lot of our partners are just now really starting to ask questions about. Um, and a lot of it, and a lot of them is like, oh, this isn't just another info bot that I get to scream at that doesn't understand me. You know, but tell us a little bit about the approach that Nextiva has to conversational AI. This is a great question. So we actually integrate with IBM Watson and Google, which are the top two carriers and, and, and innovation platforms, if you will, in regards to conversational AI. But the reality is, is those are the same things that are powering your Alexa and your Siri today. And if you utilize any of those tools in your regular life, you'll realize that they're pretty accurate most of the time. The, the improvements in conversational AI have come a very, very long way in recent past. And Nextiva utilizing the top two providers of those services just make it an even better solution for your users. Nice stuff. So uh, now I'm going to ask you to put on your fortune telling hat. Uh, as, as we look at Nextiva, we definitely see you as, as a market leader within our portfolio and definitely as a, as a UCAS provider that we know is going to be in it for the long haul. So this isn't a question about, hey, are you going to stay who you are? Are you going to get acquired? Are you going to buy other companies? We already know that Nextiva is going to be here 5, 10, maybe 15 years from now. But now I want you to start thinking about what, what do you think the market looks like? Nextiva started as a company with just a really cool attitude, but was still just another broad soft player at the beginning. And you've evolved into something wholly unique, very much focused on the collaboration, the integration, event, the CRM, NextOS, all those fun tools. What's the future hold, Catherine? You've done everything there. Where are you guys at further down the road? Where do you see the industry going? 
Well, the reality is, is we're currently in transition from moving from UCAS to CPAS. I mean, we're really developing a platform as a service, and there's different components to that platform. But over the last year, we've gone from one functionality, which is voice, to about 13 different functionalities within the next OS platform. And my opinion is that's just going to continue to evolve and grow as time goes on and will include a lot of artificial intelligence and machine learning and predictability and analytics and things that uh, we haven't yet developed, but will definitely be coming with the next Diva solution. Again, making it a platform as a service, allowing you to have one single location for all your information. Fantastic stuff. And, and I think I think that's where we're going. Uh, you know, whether it's in a BYOD scenario, or maybe even the old school person using a now a Microsoft Teams enabled phone, got to see those out at Nextcon. Um, I think everything is moving to just complete convergence. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get away from having to use 1,700 different apps to get through our day and really focus on one, which I guarantee you for a lot of folks, that'll be the next Diva app. So uh, normally I like to close these with, you know, who's the best person to reach out to. But within the CNSG community, I think a lot of you know your, your next Diva contacts. We have a, a, you guys have a full bench of superstars. John Wolf, Nick Dupree, uh, Kathy Flick, Aaron Acre, yourself, Catherine, uh, of course, Carl Katz, and my good buddy, my concert friend, my heavy metal guy in the pit, Mr. Ira. Um, you guys have always done a great job for us. So I have a, I have a better question for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. So you've done all these amazing jobs at Next Diva, starting in inside sales and kind of working your way up. Have you ever worn the Nexpert outfit? I have not worn the expert outfit, although I would like to be in that the answer. <laughs> there was some hesitation <laughs> in that answer. <laughs> I have not. Well, uh, I, I, that, honestly, that's just a plug for next time Nextcon's around. I'm totally game for hopping in that outfit. I've always wanted to be a mascot. But uh, thank Watch you. What you wish for, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> well, Catherine, thank you so much for being our guest on the Next Diva in uh, on thought leadership in the channel here today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Any final words for our audience today? Thanks for joining, and let us know how we can help. Fantastic. And for those listening, we'll catch you next time uh, on my uh, on my next event. Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. Talk to you next time.